the info. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree with that. I am so confused. Look, I do. He probably called the investigator. You know, I mean, now. Oh, did you see? Did you see what Bo said about Joe Gorga? Wow. So now I don't even what got him so mad. I'm so confused. Why is Bo so mad at Joe Gorga? I'm confused. For everyone who I'm didn't confused. see it, Bo did a thing, a, a video. I think that it's because Fuda is saying that they sat. We we talked about that here that they sat next to him one night at dinner. And what were they saying? They were saying something like, "What? How did he know where they were going to be?" I think something like that. Listen, he doesn't. <laughs> but Bo Deedle is not happy with Joe Guerra. And let me no. tell you something, a couple of people in this world that I'm afraid of, in no particular order, Chris Jenner, but she'll shut, she'll <laughs> shut, she'll shut this podcast and all of Hollywood down right now. Okay. You okay there, Kim? Now. I'm good. Kathy Hilton. I'm afraid of her. You're not afraid of her. Uh, I think, well, you should be, you should be. I think she had something to do with Rena not being there. I'm a, a Louis. I don't know. I think I might be afraid of Louis a little bit because he's Absolutely such a wild card. Not. And Absolutely not. maybe not him, but Bo Deedle, that's somebody you should be scared of. Bo Deedle is one of the big boys. I like Bo. Me and Bo are friends. I've known him from Rayo's, my second husband, and I used to be at Rayo's once a month with Bo. Not with Bo. He was there. I was there. I don't want people to think I was sitting. And I run into him at Campagnola often. He's a great guy. We know each other. Um, I'm just not understanding why he's so mad. I, I got, I'll get to the bottom of it. I'll find out why he's so I mad. I think because Gorga put really... his name in the mouth. Well, so did Louis. They I all think, said it. I think at John the end Fuda of the day, said, John he's Fuda probably is... friends with Louis. Yeah, John Fuda said his name. Vanessa saying his name. Doug saying his name. Um... Gorga saying his name. I'm a little confused. I watched but like the I said, video. I thought Gorga was trying to say something about like what they talked about at the dinner or something. I think he's lying about what happened at that dinner. And okay, that, that could be. Saying, he's saying like, I told you the story at that dinner and why are you still talking about it? I think it's something like that. But right. And the meantime, he called him a midget. You know, called him a midget. One, he said, you know, you better move on and not focus on move me. On. I yeah. focus on you. He said, I'm going to do this for free. This is nothing. To do. I'm going to yeah. investigate you for free. Yep. Now, yep. do we want Joe Gorga? In, I mean, does Joe Gorga want himself investigated for free? Absolutely not. Now, absolutely not. Let's talk about that because you brought it up when Louie, when Teresa stood up and went over to him. Yep. I'm not saying anything. You're not saying anything. There are these things that are online, but you know, these things that Joe has in his past, which are not financial, which are rumored when he went over there, when Teresa went over there, first of all, Melissa turned around and said, just drop it because she knew yes. what was going to come 1, out on the stage. <laughs> Melissa knew. She said, drop Joe, stop. Yep. You don't know if Teresa was going to say it or not. Because she, listen, she was <clears throat> highly emotional at the time. Yeah, and that's when things come out. <clears throat> yeah. And then, I don't know if you saw it, I sent it to you. On her story, I saw. she posted the allegation and said she didn't hit like on it. Now, you know how many millions of people saw that now? What do you mean, what's that for? What is Why that would you put mean? it on your story? Why would you put that on your story? The so allegation is, that, is there. First of all, it, it involves in me and my podcast. It, I it was in I, innuendo. I said something about I don't even know what I said. That Joe's and she's past saying was she didn't come like out. on something, but the allegation is on her story. That's not good. I mean, I mm -hmm. tweeted this. I tweeted this. Now I don't even I don't look at who likes my shit, but these lovely listeners do. So a listener said. Look who fucking liked your tweet. And it was Teresa. And yes, you sent it to me. And Teresa is saying she never. Now, I mean, I, I was confused too. I mean, how could how could someone else be liking this? Right. So I I oh. Yeah, but she put the allegation. Right. Someone on Instagram story. Right. Someone said some okay. Someone was replying to me. Okay, let's just back up just for 30 seconds. 
we don't need to get into this if you don't want, because I just went and got into it in another podcast. But yes, this is the train of the tweet. I tweeted, I tweeted because I'm blocked on Instagram by Melissa Gorgoff, <laughs> but I am not blocked on Twitter by Melissa Gorgoff. Right, so right. I said, at Melissa Gorgoff, I added her, like, hello, girl, I'm tagging you. At Melissa Gorga, I know you can't handle our interview with Icon at Judice Official. That's juicy. But lying on your pathetic podcast that you don't pay for the Behind the Velvet Rope Patreon to listen to me and at Kim D, you were tagged in this, yes. is yes, pathetic. Yes. Can't wait till you are fired next season. Long live at Teresa Judice. Not oh, that, I didn't know that. That very oh. good, David. Not that I'm a tree hugger, but when Melissa no, I get put it. my name in her mouth and she pissed, yeah. So I said, Melissa, so I tagged her, I tagged you, and I tagged Teresa. So Teresa liked a, a tweet that you were in, Kim. We'll get into that in a second. So I said, at Melissa Gorga, I know you can't handle our interview with Icon at, G- at Joey Juicy Joe, but lying on your pathetic podcast that you don't pay for the Behind the Velvet or Patreon, Patreon to listen to me and at Kim D is pathetic. Can't wait till you're fired next season. Long live Teresa. So Teresa liked that. Yes. And then, yes, somebody then, I mean, I think I could repeat what this person said, right? No. Okay. Well, I Melissa, fine. I'm not going to repeat it, but Melissa is selling handcuff necklaces yes, she is. all of a sudden, which I'm sorry, that is, that is a little bit of a diss. Let's not be. And then someone else said, known as Melissa's fake storyline, replied to at me, at you, at Juicy, and at, because they that reply, it's all the ads right. that said blah, blah, and they referenced these yes. allegations. Yes. And then Correct. Teresa said, she hasn't liked anything this season, but I mean, it says right here, Teresa DJ liked it. So, yes, yes. Yeah, I think she. I, I think yeah. it's not good that's out of story. I think she's trying to really keep this all under wraps. Which okay, but wh- listen, I have a theory though. I think Wildcard is going to put it out. Well, when he, I don't know if you caught it, he said something like in due time. That's what he kept yeah. saying. Oh, he said it constantly. You're going down. Due time. I got you. Yeah, it's just, I mean, he's, he told him point blank, like your day is coming. Your day is coming. You know, your, your shit's coming out. So I believe wild card will put it out. It's getting out one way or the other. I mean, that's the thing when you're sitting there and you're Melissa and Joe, it's like, you gotta be scared when Teresa's standing. Yeah. You ha- I mean, you have to be. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I know she's not going to. It was so her. ugly. I mean. My phone, I didn't answer my phone after because I was watching something else. Uh, um, my phone was ringing off the wall. Um, my DMs were insane. Of course, they were all sending me the Bo uh, video that I sent you. But people are really, like, disgusted. I've never seen people be more disgusted than what's going on. They're disgusted. And I got to be honest with you. I mean, I know the tree huggers are out there. 